alternative reality in Hove. It is, well, I don't know, like a Thursday, maybe a Thursday, a Wednesday morning. It is day three of this first class match, Essex Sussex or Sussex Essex because it is away at Hove. And this is the state of play. Essex made 505 in their first innings. A Ravi Bopara Century, Dan Lawrence, and James Foster, and uh, Tendo as well, I think, getting good scores. And then Sussex were all out for 280. Jamie Portman and Simon Harmer doing the majority of the damage. So the lead is 225, but Essex have eschewed the follow on, deciding that bowling last on the pitch is probably more valuable. So, lucky you guys. It's time for a Nick Brown Masterclass again. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the blocking. Um, and let's see if we can't grow this lead. On a 400 lead at least, I think that's the key. Ajmal <laughs> Shazad, God bless him. He took a fight. He did take five wickets in the first innings. He just took them at over 135 runs. I think it was 150. I think it was five for 150 something in the end. So. But he did bowl That's looking in his really defense. Wide, he did bowl cool. a very, very good opening spell on that first day. Nice. Oh, that one kept really low. You see, that was pretty much in the same area. Much, much lower. So there is a variable bounce issue on this pitch. As we've all seen. And that did swing as well. A tidy over. A maiden. Essex. None for none. Nick Brown didn't have to play anything though. Let's just be clear there. Brown Chopper looked good in the first innings through his 40 before he was sawn off by the McGoffin uneven bounce. Into the attack now. Steve McGoffin. He's going to be the man to... Put some pressure on him. There was a run there. If I hadn't set out really a stupid time. So, for the bowling inning, or for the batting, the AI has been put back to legendary. Or whatever the well, top really thing beaten is. By the bowler there. I don't know whether they... Because I don't know whether the AI bowls better when it's not. That one kept low, as you noticed the first runs that's of the day. Nice. That's delicate. So, <coughs> I'll put the AI difficulty one. back to the highest level. But, depending on how I bat in the second innings, I am toying with the idea of taking the... Because my bag is always crap on these games, so I've got it on. Easy. Yeah, whatever the level below level two of five. Um, I often found that I couldn't really Jesus, that's a Great delivery from the um, I couldn't totally really make slowly. runs when it's difficulties up slightly, but I seem to have settled into a nice rhythm with this Essex side. <laughs> Nick Brown's still yet to put back to ball. Well, maybe I'll leave that leave that alone for a little bit. But Essex, one for none. It's the kind of go-getting, target-setting that we wanted to see from Essex this morning. And there we are, Varen Chopra dismissively pulls the ball away. Shazad, back into the groove. Would like to see Varen get up to 50. It's kind of earned it, I feel. See Nick Brown get back on ball. But yet to do. I mean, following on, they could well have collapsed and it could well have been over by a T today, but I just feel that bowling last on this pitch, even though the pitch doesn't change, you know, I'm trying to play it like a proper game of cricket, I, I would even think bowling last on the pitch is probably more valuable 
you wouldn't want to give them the third day to bat. And, you know, in the middle order, they looked like it Wells and Taylor and Wright. You know, if Nash got off to a good start, that's well wide. You'd be worried that they could easily make the 225, the 200, 225, and then set you a tricky 180, 190 target. So, I think on a pitch like this, batting fourth is definitely worth it. Or bowling fourth is definitely worth it. And let it carry through for the keeper. Essex doing okay there. They move on to six. Right, well, Nick Brown hasn't laid a bat on ball yet, so let's see how he gets on now. That's nice. And that carries through for the keeper. Hey, finally, a defensive shot. He could, he could not hit that there. Yes, and that goes through to the wicket keeper. No shot off it. Another run added. Probably because he knows. <coughs> this is an important spell of play. <gasps> and it goes through to the keeper. There is the taking time out of the game factor, but I think if you I think going at the rate we went, if we can back fifty overs, we've got Oh Jesus Christ. We've got a chance. I mean, there is a chance that they could bowl us out cheaply. So every every task, you know, every decision is fraught with danger. But I can't believe. Yeah. Four hundred might be. In fact, 400 is probably too much anyway. Little too eager in that delivery. No ball. Although, you know, if Fajmash is going to go back to his no ball ways, we might get there a little bit quicker. And that goes through to the wicket keeper. No shot off it. See, in the Knox game, I'm forced to follow on because it was, you know, I've got six bowlers and it was just before the new ball and it was a good time. Porter and Beard had a rest and it made sense to That's be able to do That's a very good block. Here, you know, Porter and Beard have bowled quite a bit. I know there was the, you know, it was right at the end of the day. There was no guarantee that, you know, we could have bowled them out. And that goes through for the earlier. wicket keeper. No shot off it. So I just had it in my head like once they got to about 250 behind, then the final one wasn't worth the enforcing. That's the end of the <coughs> I may be wrong, but you know, Essex, it's on vogue nine. these days. I definitely wouldn't enforce the follow on tomorrow at the Oval. <laughs> if they get the chance, they might not even get the chance. But, uh, are going to stand at this stage. The bowler beats the bat there. Mm -hmm. No ball though. Umpire signals, no ball there. So extras are so far scored more than Nick Brown. In case anyone's looking. That was a slower, slower, slower delivery. Yeah. 
That takes a safe option in not running. It's because there was no run there. Ah, oh, there is a run there, however. That's a lovely little back foot punch down the ground. Four runs. Wonderful drive. <coughs> nice wee shot from Brown Chopper there. Oh. Good. A shot pawn right there for you. Ooh, that really did swing in. Saw the swing coming. Great fielding, that's a pound save. 14 One minutes. run taken. End of the over, six off it. Essex, 14 for none. Danny brings in early the doors. The Dharma is coming on to bowl. Let's see what he can do. Good delivery there. Had the batsman defending. <laughs> the difference between Brown and Chopper right there. 20 balls faced each. Nice. Chopper has 10, Brown has 1. <laughs> Straight here. Super shot that. That's a good boundary. Plays that defensively. Good ball. No shot offered and safely through to the keeper. Well wide. Yeah, I was going to say, we're giving that as a wide. <laughs> the little dance around the bowler and the wickets he has to do every time he signals a wide is hilarious. Good delivery there. Had the batsman defending. Five runs added in the over. Essex, over. 19 Not for none. Chopper has faced more balls. That run rate is nearly at three. Assuming Nick Brown's going to deal with that. Goffin's definitely swinging it. Along the ground. Definitely getting that swing. I think more swing than I saw in the first innings from him. I think neither him or Shazad have ever saw swing quite that prodigious. <laughs> Maybe it's the clown cover? That would be cool. <gasps> That one bounces through to the keeper. Bowler knows it. Huh. Umpire confirms now, it. Now, there's been Wide. wider balls down the leg side than that not given. Extra's doing a stand-up job so far in this partnership. <laughs> Extras have gone to five. So, got the innings from them so far. <gasps> And that goes through nice. the wicket keeper, no shot off it. Good over. A very good over comes to an end. Oh, jeez, oh. I looked at that and I thought, I'm going to leave it. And then just as it whizzed past, I was like, oh, God. I think I was lucky it bounced more than flight. No. Nope. It's definitely firing it in a little bit more here.
Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Solid stroke there. <laughs> Chopper had leathered that to the boundary there. God, I like that. Let's see that again in an instant replay, please. The batsman let step through to the keeper. And that's the end of the over. Essex, 24 for none. It's a solid shot. That's a boundary from Nick oh, Brown. That's been put away nicely. It has been put away nicely. And Nick Brown scored a boundary now. Times are upon us. Be a little bit closer to the stumps to make Nick Brown interested, mate. Oh no! Beat more than that. Essex, uh, stay on 28 for none. Oh, that was really speared in there by Briggsy. Turn on offer, there is variable bounce on offer. I mean, they shouldn't really be getting more than yes, my ball. 350. You just don't want to be the captain that declares below 400 and loses, though, do you? Chopper's foiled that away. There's definitely two there, though. And that's a solid two. And that carries through to the keeper. And that's it carry through to the keeper. Some very well targeted bowling in that over. <laughs> Sounds so regal there, very well targeted. Brown oath to continue then. And it goes through to the keeper. Right, moves to six. Oh, yeah, that was well early. Slow, but swinging. The coffin's definitely getting the ball moving. Almost like 
facing Bhuvanesh or Kumar, it feels like. It's a two. We're going to try. He's in. They've got two for that. Good shot. Three runs added in that over. <coughs> Essex, 33 for none. He's certainly not going to allow it plenty off the spinner, isn't it, Brown? The way Nick Brown plays was also something that was calculated into my... Is the follow one worth it or not? Or should we bat again? Which is ridiculous, really, when you're like, you are batting for all the batters. I am, but... These batters have their own idiosyncratic personalities now. The batsman defending. And this is Nick Rounds. We should all make our peace with that. Perfectly straight back. <clears throat> Every team needs a nuggety adhesive left hander. Or right hander. Shot. Driven through the covers of four. Great shot. Two out of three. Ideal, ideal, good. Double figures for Brown Oak. We're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves then. Let's that. 37 for no wicket. Essex, 37. It's not bad, to be fair. As well, Shazad comes back. Three overs, one maiden, six runs. Two of those extras, though, which is quite telling already. Extras now behind Nick Brown, by the way. Precision in that shot. Looking very comfortable there. Textbook shot. Good effort, four runs. <clears throat> well, this would be worrying for Sussex. Well, I suppose it's not worrying in a way, in the fact that they're so both far behind, it doesn't really matter whether Shazad bolts pies or not. But at least you want to try and take some time out of the game. And the quicker I get these runs, or the quicker Essex get these runs, the quicker they are likely to declare. So, you know, some on the money bowling would be quite welcome. It is eight off of Shadad's first over coming back. Essex had a good over there, taking the score to I don't know what it is about for none. England bowlers, either former or current, when they face me. Stuart Broad suffered in much the same way. He brings that to continue to the ground. Plays that defensively. Sorry. Good ball. Plays that defensively. Good ball. And that goes through the wicket keeper. No shot off it. I'm slightly wary about letting that one go then, but I thought it's wide enough. Yes, my well ball! <laughs> Again, Chopper and Brown were on similar balls faced, but Chopper had 30 and Brown had 10. This one's going to be a stump under. Sweet possibly on, but dangerous. No 
sweep him up. Plays that shot defensively. Good delivery there. Had the batsman defending. Good over that. Essex. 45 for none. She's not changing his ankle. Oh, no way. <coughs> well, there's a cool bolt. Good out there. A real I was I was thinking as I played that I should play this on the front foot, but I was going to try and drive it through the covers a little bit more, but it didn't move enough. I meant I had to go straighter. I just lollipopped it to Ajmal Shazad there. So Chopra's out for again another well compiled score, another a 30, but no 50 yet for him. Tom Wesley had a failure in the first innings though, just the eight for him. Ajmal Shazad has a wicket. What's happening now? It's a nice kind of pressure-free situation for Tom Wesley to try and get some runs. A little pressure on him. Oh, and he's gone straight away on the back foot, and he's gone. Shazad is on fire again with the new ball. Thirty-five for two. That finishes a bad game for Tom Wesley. Not up to their usual standard there. A very early departure. Oh, Ravi's here. I know what Ravi's like. Ravi's swinging them all the way for three. Very Ravi. And the batsman moves on to three. Yeah, disappointing game for Tom Wesley, this one. That's nice. The batsman nice. lets that through to the keeper. And that's the end of the over. over. Essex, 48 for two. Sapara was welly out of his crease then, by the way. Mm -hmm. The was coming back. No nice. shot offered and safely through to the keeper. And in such supreme touch, though, that he can get away. Yeah, that's probably time. Plays that defensively. Good ball. End of the over, no change to the score. Essex, 48 for two. Oh, Shazad, two for 17 from five, suddenly looking sprightly. He's taken seven wickets in this match so far. Nice. Cannot be sniffed at. It's that variable bounce, yo. Play that on the back foot, and you might be getting caught. And that carries through to the keeper. Oh, geez, oh, lovely shot. Expected 50 up for Essex, 52 for two. Lead creeping towards 300, which is the bare minimum first quarter call.
wins the over. Essex, 52 for two. to the boundary, four runs. Could fetch that rather. Pretty decent. We're going nearly threes, so uh, not too worried yet. Oh, didn't put, put him in there too early. There we go. That's a good shot, however. Wounded. Just one run added, end of the over. A good one for the batting side. Essex, 57 for two. Wide, by an absolute country mile. Didn't need to play out that one, wide. Lower that one. Oh, I was thinking shot. back foot, but and that's four. committed on the front. And the run rate's gone over three, even though Nick Brown's there, so Ravi Bakara's in form. Another run added to the scoreboard. Goes through to the keeper. Itchy, itchy, itchy trigger fingers there, but I let it go. Rightly so. Oh god, it's gonna be tight now. Nice. Just a single. And they get a single there. <coughs> 15 or 58. Oh. Brown, which is now 15 or 59. And let's oh. carry 14 or 16. It may well be 15. So End of the over. Eight runs coming Four from. That. Luke Wright's coming in. Well, he, didn't, he bowled half the overs of his the other right teamers. The new he didn't really support them in a fucking what's a four man attack. Basically, a three man attack. And instantly gives away four runs. Maybe that's why he didn't bowl. That goes for four. What a good shot. Nice shot, though. Ravi looking in prime form. And again, it's another terrible delivery. That's four all the way. You shouldn't be bowling there anyway, and you certainly shouldn't be bowling there to rally the bar. Not when you're off, you're filled offside packed, mate. What are you doing? Again, just leg side. Four runs there. Super shot. Well, this is helping the, uh, the target setting no end. Look at his offside field. Just bowl the ball outside off stump. What's wrong with There we go. And that goes to the wicket keeper. No shot off it. Phil's changing. I'm not really looking. Oh, there is a bit of there. Ah, no. 
throw a flute right first over, which isn't. Essex, 77. 